Hello, everybody. Call your Swecker in Birmingham, Alabama. Hope everybody's having an awesome day. Wanted to share a little situation that we're finding more and more in a lot of our newer subdivisions uh, in Birmingham. When I say newer, I mean built in the last six, seven, eight years. Uh, a lot of them at the tail end of the boom. Uh, so probably while it was booming around 06, 07, they were in there early stages, probably built uh, maybe even half of the homes. Uh, and a lot of times it's in a lot of our, our uh, higher end subdivisions. When I say higher end, I mean anything over 300. Uh, and what we're finding is that a lot of homes were built maybe say for six, seven hundred thousand or sold for six, seven hundred thousand dollars, maybe five hundred thousand. And what ends up happening though is that the developer goes under or he has a short sale or he goes out of business, whatever, and the bank reclaims the empty lots that are in the subdivisions and sells it, you know, essentially to a real low price to a new builder who will do something with the property. Now, the good thing is a lot of, of uh, uh, these subdivisions have covenants and bylaws that tell you uh, you know, this is the kind of house that you can build and so forth. Uh, and, and what's happening is a lot of these builders are coming in and uh, buying these lots and building at the at the bare minimum level of the covenants and restrictions. So it's so important that early on that you check before you buy a house in these subdivisions, any subdivision, what, what can be built here on the low end, on the high end, what have you. Um, but what's becoming inevitable, and I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing, I think what we would rather see is... Uh, lots uh, actually have houses on them and built to the minimum standards at least of uh, the subdivision covenants and restrictions and that sort of thing because you know what I think a lot happened a lot there at the end of the boom people were upgrading putting everything in these houses that you know were extras and it did throw their price into the five six seven hundred thousand dollar range and What's happening now is these builders aren't throwing those things in and they're selling maybe for the fours. Uh, so about 100000 200000 less than what they paid, but the house is probably worth that. And quite frankly, most of the time the finishes are similar. When I say finishes, I'm talking about granite countertops, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, plantation shutters, things like that. And what I think's good is that you're finishing that neighborhood and finishing it pretty much in a style that's very similar. Even if the houses are a little bit smaller, I think that's okay. Because, you know, given the fact that they're smaller, does it mean as long as the finishes, like we talked about, are up to standards uh, of the other homes, uh, that the exterior uh, is, is as nice as the other ones? I don't think in the long run, I think y you as homeowners that are in these houses that were already built can understand uh, that everybody's lost money in this economy and that you're going to recover just like everybody else. And if your house is bigger, it's going to be worth more uh, when the market recovers and that, uh, we're, that you know, you're pretty much better off you know, being a proponent of folks uh, getting in there and, and finishing the neighborhoods and uh, making them look nicer because, you know, Right now, I can tell you, it's hard, hard, hard to sell an empty lot right now because there's so many single-family homes that are already built that somebody can get in and we're in a uh, now. Uh, I think Americans are just want everything now. So uh, to sum it all up, I guess what I'm trying to say is that you need to be real cognizant if you're in a neighborhood with uh, new houses coming up that are... Uh, are priced less and understand that you're going to be better off in the long run with those folks built than you are uh, uh, making a case for having just lots only and uh, and waiting for this market to recover because who knows when it will recover and even if it does you may not like uh, the result of having empty lots and the and it's to uh, it's 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 effect that it'll have on your value uh, by having a lot of empty lots in your neighborhood and looking very unfinished. So anyway, if you got questions, comments, uh, disagree with what I had to say, email me. Call your at megaagentrealestate.com. Have an awesome day.